This thermal camera captured a baby's cry, living people, and not so living people. First, the baby is heard. Next, a not so living person is seen on camera. And again here. Apparently, this is the background without the thermal camera on. And then lastly, a female EVP is heard. What does she know? My guess, I think she knows who the not-so-living person is lurking around the room. Wild animals can be incredibly dangerous. Even animals that look as slow and non-menacing as moose are. YouTuber Azeroth6390 discovered that in June of 2007 when he published this video writing, My dad and my grandfather were trying to chase a moose into the forest because it was in a village scaring people. What happened next? Well, see for yourself. The moose is wandering in the forest and you can see a man and his dog head towards it. The shot cuts to three moose running along next to a home, presumably being chased off by someone, while a dog nearby the man filming starts barking. That's when one of the moose has had enough. He clambers through the trees towards the dog and the man filming. The man lets out a crazy bellow, so the moose thinks better of it. Also, he seems to be having a tough time getting through the thick bramble. The moose retreats, and the man filming says, She tried to get us in his native language. Moose can be very dangerous in terms of behavior. They're not as aggressive as bears, but their population size means you are more likely to be injured by one than you are by any bear. According to How Stuff Works in Alaska alone, moose outnumber bears nearly 3 to 1, wounding around 5 to 10 people in the state annually. That's more than grizzly bear and black bear attacks combined. I don't know about you but I wouldn't want to feel the power of the weight behind those antlers. In 2009, a paranormal research group was tasked with investigating ghost sightings at a cemetery in Tampa Bay. They review weeks worth of footage and uncover some weird things caught on camera. They think this video is paranormal because an odd light goes behind a marker, placing this object, be it a ghost, an orb, or whatever you want to call it, somewhere behind the fence. Therefore, it's not a bug or a dust particle moving up close, though it could simply be edited. The ghost hunters claim to record the spot for three more weeks before any other paranormal evidence is caught on video. This time, their camera picks up a shadow figure moving off screen, along with some kind of ethereal mist blanketing this area that does not look like normal fog. It happens at the same time a car drives by, so I'm hoping this shadow figure is just caused by passing headlights. Otherwise, this video might be as paranormal as they say. Isn't nature beautiful? This video shows us it's actually terrifying. Redditor Sarah in Alaska shared this clip of the stunning Alaskan wilderness, but listen closely to the audio. She's wondering if viewers hear a voice, and if so, if you can tell what it's saying. Redditor Endangered Mind 2 suggests that the voice says, Race back down, and Sarah agrees, as they just reached the summit. After listening repeatedly, I agree that this is what it sounds like, but the voice is not theirs. So whose is it? I don't have any answers, but I think I'd keep off this trail for a while, or never hike it again. Urban explorer Steve Ronan is exploring a town by a lake that was opened in the 1950s 
Cheetahs and had a very dark history. They had an entire arena where dogs were forced to do horrible things and had multiple passings in the town under strange circumstances. It has since been abandoned and is now considered a ghost town with paranormal energy. Steve explores the area with some locals who show him around. While the entire exploration has some seriously creepy vibes, there's two parts in particular that are especially frightening. At 12 minutes and 20 seconds, Steve says he caught a demon on camera. Do you see it here? Right here. There's a... Uh... And again at 31 minutes and 20 seconds, Steve says more paranormal activity is caught on tape here. See what this? What the f Even this mirror over here. You can see the reflection of the door and my flashlight. But you can't even see me. Overall, I would stay far away from that ghost town. I saw a light anomaly, writes Francisco S. Camilla, after uploading this bizarre ring cam footage to his YouTube channel. He has no idea what this was and is looking for answers, so let's try and help. I think this could actually be paranormal because their dog just so happens to go crazy at the same time. The block is quiet and the dog doesn't really have much to bark at other than this strange moving object. Some dogs will bark at nothing so that's not necessarily proof. The way this alleged ghost orb slowly moves makes me wonder if this is actually just a bug that was attracted to the porch light walking across the lens up close to give this strange and spooky effect. If you have a sibling, then they've likely played practical jokes on you before. But what happens when the impractical is not a joke? In this video, something is seen floating on the other side of the room. As the boys grow increasingly panicked, a toy car is thrown at the younger brother, while another toy car comes flying towards the older brother, seemingly of its own accord. The video cuts out and then resumes, as the brothers are arguing with each other in Malé, perhaps blaming each other for the paranormal activity. The younger brother is being yelled at, and he screams back in anger before leaving the room. The older brother looks concerned, and when they go check on him, they find a figure standing on the toilet hanging upside down. Wait, any... After shouting out, one of the older brothers rushes back into the dining room, and it seems the paranormal is not over yet. A chair shoves out from under the table on its own. He grabs his phone, while the other brother attempts to restrain the child. That's where the video ends. While many in the comments are doubtful of this video's authenticity, some are all in saying this is real. Facebook user Mohamed Zaraf Amin is one of the latter writing. All of you who comment says this is all an act. Just be careful if he wants to disturb you. We have to believe this smooth creature exists. I guess if we don't believe, we are more vulnerable. This family has been affected by dark magic for years. They believe it's witchcraft because they found unexplained earth crosses and voodoo dolls outside their home. This professional has come to release them from the bad energies. She starts by doing a ritual. Estás bien? Estás bien? Acá conmigo. Estás bien? No la volteas a ver a ella. Acá conmigo. Estás bien? ¿Quién eres? And then the ritual intensifies. ¿Quién eres? No, acá conmigo. Aquí conmigo. ¿Quién eres? Acá conmigo. Respira. Respira. Estás acá conmigo. Estás en piso. The victim is then released from the ropes. The woman then balances what looks like a glass of milk atop the possessed lady's head. Tranquila. 
La luz de la divinidad te cubre. La luz de la divinidad te cubre. Esto se me va. She becomes weaker. Siéntate. 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 Cuidado. Ahí estás. Ahí estás. And it truly looks like something is possessing her. Tranquila. Estamos con Whatever is haunting her is hurting her. This pair is connected somehow. <laughs> Tranquila, tranquila. Respire, respire, respire. The woman tries to catch her breath calmly. Respire. No qué. A ver, a ver, a ver. Acá, arriba conmigo. Aquí. Respire. Respire. Inhale y exhale. Despacito. Inhale y exhale. And then they both appear to be released from the spell. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Aide. ¿Cómo estás? Regresa. 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 Muñeca. Regresa. Regresa. I find this whole ritual intriguing. Not only are the steps involved interesting, but it seems to have worked. But will it last? I guess only time will tell. A truck driver checks his mirror just in time to see a dusty road hazard swirling his way. Try and translate this part because I would love to hear his initial reaction word for word. <laughs> The mini tornado dances all around and blocks the only exit. Getting out and running is probably not a good option because it could randomly change direction and come barreling his way. Now all he can do is stay inside and hope it doesn't move forward another 10 feet and rip off his door, which it looks strong enough to do. If you doubt its power, this bent street light says otherwise. After less than a minute, the tornado of dust dissipates moments before, raging through somebody's front door. We like to think that we'd somehow remain in control of any emergency, but all of this was random. His survival was based far more on chances than choices. A YouTuber captures an apparition on his doorbell cam that somehow changes shape and color. First, it has an oversized white head with no face. Then it becomes see-through to the point where you can make out the bush behind it. And then it switches to a blinding white color without getting thinner. The whole time, it somewhat resembles a human in height and gait, but how? Since this is the only footage of the apparition, we may never know. You don't want this guy popping up in your next selfie. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Princess Lena87 explains that there was no one else in the room when this video was recorded, except apparently this insane red face who popped up behind them. The clip shows two friends recording a selfie video, laughing and having fun. As the video pans right, nothing is behind them, but when it pans left again, a slimy red figure appears over their shoulders. Lena shares this screenshot in the comments. While well, some think it's Snape, others suggest something not from a Harry Potter book, and rather an entity that is quite nefarious. Redditor Analytical Amy writes, It may just be some freakish weirdness, but was there ever a fire close by or in that house over the years? Later saying that it looks like someone who was in the home during something like this. Whether you think this is the case or not, one piece of advice, don't turn around. I believe this video is 100% real, and that only makes it all the more scarier. According to YouTuber Gankwapi, this abandoned house has a horrific history.
It's near the end of their investigation that they encounter this spirit. If you look a little closer, you can see a figure lurking in the darkness. Look to the right. Is that the old man spirit, stranded to haunt this evil house for eternity? I suspect it just might be, although I could also see it being the life taker's demon, jailed forever in this purgatory on earth. So there's a YouTube channel called EB30X Fitness, 34 videos, one year old account, not exactly the first place you'd go looking for paranormal content, but there's one creepy workout video they can't explain. Five. Did anybody see that orb fly behind Karen? Aura. Anybody see that orb? A wavy light goes over his client and he puts everything on hold to point it out. Honestly, it looks like a bug to me. He says it's a ghost caught on film though. I don't think they're doing this for publicity. It has less than a thousand views in their fitness studio Facebook page in Illinois. Already has 300,000 followers. So I think he's being sincere when he says it's a ghost orb. What do you think about this paranormal activity? It's pretty creepy, but like I said, maybe a bug. If you've ever been in a bug swarm of any kind, you'll know it can give you chills. This mayfly swarm is no different. In fact, it's practically nightmarish. Oh, my God. When the mayflies took over this bridge in Iowa, snowplows were required to unblock the swarm buzzing in the bridge's path. In fact, the bridge had been so completely swarmed by the bugs that emergency crews were sent to the area. The nightmare scene turned into a scary situation after bikers tried to plow through the massive heap of mayflies but lost traction. Luckily, they escaped. The bridge's clearing was recorded by Tina Franzen as she rode along in her son's police car. Franzen said of the event, I've lived in Sabula since 75. I've never seen that many before, ever. To clear the bugs over the following weeks, it was decided by the Iowa Department of Transportation to keep the streetlights off near the bridge as the lights attract the mayflies. Here's hoping it all worked out for Iowa. They don't need any more of this nightmare fuel. <laughs> A weird security video from southeastern Nigeria has been freaking people out since October of 2019. Animals seem to disappear in this haunted alleyway, and then it happens to someone who they've long suspected of being a witch. <laughs> I think these security guards were bored and playing a joke. Notice how the yellow playback bar suddenly skips ahead whenever something disappears. It's pretty obvious that some editing has occurred. So my final analysis is no, this video is not real. What do you think though? Have you ever seen a door slam all on its own? Okay, but have you seen it happen in a creepy underground morgue? Steady Pop published this horrifying video in May of 2017 which begins scary and then escalates even further. As the camera wads into the darkness with a flickering lantern lighting a hallway, strange slamming noises are heard. You might be screaming, don't go down there at your computer screen right now, but the cameraman isn't listening. He walks towards the hallway, and as he gets closer, you can see what's making that slamming noise. It's a red door down at the end of the hallway. It's opening and closing shut on repeat with no end in sight. As the cameraman gets closer and closer, your heart starts beating faster and faster, and then suddenly the door stops slamming. 
the lights flicker on and then off completely. When they turn back on again, the cameraman walks over to the door and opens it. Nothing is inside. The cameraman turns down towards the end of the hallway and into the adjacent room, but nothing. Was this the paranormal in action? Or as some in the comments believe, was a fishing line involved? Real or fake, what do you think? It's certainly some interesting footage. Thomas Gilmer runs a computer store and often buys old computer equipment from his customers on the cheap. This time he gets a computer at a bargain price and when he pops open the cover, he immediately understands why the seller was so quick to part ways. The inside is covered from end to end with the remains of thousands of dried up cockroaches. And to top it off, a single living spider crawls across this disgusting bug wasteland. Look at that. According to the description, the smell of the computer was just as repugnant as the site itself. All I know is that Thomas better hope that none of the bugs were alive and managed to scurry away. A single living roach could go on to infest this building as easily as it did this previous owner's home. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200 year old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Okay. That's gonna be you see the old rocking horse in there? No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that. It's too. in the whistle. So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? Oh, right there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's going to be a flash of light. So it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso. And there's that flash of light. And then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here. Don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life, as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity. Even still though, seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. This ghost sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at the site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the white vapor the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. While some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera. One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit ascending? Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next.
Thank you.